Hey traders, it's Palmer from Bank to Trade. It is uh, Wednesday, March 8th, 2023. And hey, uh, this was an excellent, for me, this is fantastic. Uh, I was busy. There was some stuff going on. This uh, TRVI and Miso. I got into them late. I tried to tweet about them, but they just moved up and down too fast. Um, just some, some biotech plays. Uh, but I want to go over Crowd, FRTX, and NVIDIA. Um, some of you may know me, some of you may not know me. I am one of the moderators in the best stock trading room in the solar system with AJ Trader 7. Now, today was his birthday. All right, and even though it's his birthday and most, pe most people take the day off to go have fun and play and all that stuff, you know, he was sick. I don't it, allergies, cold or whatever, sounded terrible, but he was still up two two and a half hours before the bell doing research on stocks. What's the markets doing? What the markets are doing? You know, what's today doing? How's it going to play out? Still up, still doing this. Okay, he the man wanted to go back to bed. The man needed to be in bed. Okay, but he was here in the room, giving it up. All right, and you know. There are opportunities every day. We got to find them. We have to have a method to trade them. And that's what we do. We take advantage of the opportunity. Um, this is how I trade. This is my site. There is free information on here about building a trading method from the ground up. You know, your day trading uh, setup. I focus a lot on, hey, Elena, uh, moving averages and whatnot, as far as the slope, you know, volume and all that stuff coming in. I do have a video course, live one-on-one -on -one option available. Check it out. I'm not a salesman. That's what you want to do. Okay, so today, back to today, Crowd, FRTX, and NVIDIA. Let's start off with uh, the FRTX trade. All right, FRTX, it was gapping up uh, over 100% on phase one clinical study. AJ saying nothing more than a pop and slow fader gap fill. All right. Pop of the open at 360. Long if it pops to 360, then look for some. Top it. Snaps three. Back to two and under. Okay. I see that kind of stuff. I'm on the short side. Okay. I want to be involved in this. Okay. IB Interactive Brokers had no shorts. Okay, so I talked to my buddy Jay, one of our mods, Freedom Trader. There are no shorts in Cobra also, either. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that if you have a stock that's up on, you know, fluffy news and it's making this kind of a move, if there are no shorts available, it can have a tendency to get either held up longer or it might put in a move to the upside, even though it's crap news. Okay. Cra now, I don't want to say crap news. It's, you know, if you're an investor five years from now, fine. But to be up 100%, over 100% on clinical study data, phase one, that's a little too much. All right. So, talking to my buddy Jay, there's no shorts. So, I'm watching, watching, watching. IB opens up about six. I mean, uh, I'm with IB, Interactive Brokers, TOS opens up, Thinker Trade, TD America Trade opens up about six, right about here, okay, but it's still holding. It's holding, 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 all right? Then we get the volume push coming in. This is where I, I take a thousand just to, just to give it a shot. If it's going to run, I know that at some point this is going to fade. I get what I can and I get out because I don't trust the move. Okay, I'm not going to be stupid and get in with 10,000 shares thinking it's going to go to 20 on this. It isn't. Okay, this is profit taking. Okay, there are no shorts available. Okay, this wasn't a short. People, they got money, they got paid, they're getting out. AJ said, look for two and under. This was beautiful. Okay, this is awesome calls. This is what we do. Um, I don't know if Centerpoint might have had shorts, but uh, either way, the majority of people are, that want a short are with Cobra or IB. Um, so, profit taking, beautiful move to the downside. I got in, got some, and got out. That was my play. Okay, Nvidia. It was gapping up too. AJ says, don't 
uh, look to take it long until it pops. Um, 234.75, look for two points on it or more. Get out, look for topping. If it snaps, 233, sell off. So 234.75. And the market started moving up as AJ is writing the notes. Okay, so that's something to be aware of. Okay, we pop through that at the open. Bam, that's the move if you got it and you're done. All right. What was going on, or in my opinion, okay, this was yesterday's move, sold off, into the close, started getting bought up a little bit, holding price, coming back up, all right? And NVIDIA has been in the news because of chat, GPT, GT, QRX, whatever the hell you want to call it, and AI. And there's been talk, talk, talk that NVIDIA is going to be on the forefront. They're going to be the leader of all this stuff. Okay, so... Stock had to move to 241 yesterday. It was being talked about on CNBC for a while. Okay, so people are listening. Even no matter what they're right or wrong, all right, people are, you know, retailers are, they hear that stuff. Okay, and I'm listening to it. But the morning was kind of choppy after the open, but we had this, you know, you can call it a cup and handle, whatever you want to call it. It was just a big, one big, you know, bottom curl coming in like this. All right, so... I'm watching the open, and we get this bam, bam. Okay, but we're back down to, I don't have anything on here. I don't have anything drawn, but you can see that that area by itself is an area, you know, to take note on. I, you know, if you want to, I like, I like to think of these as areas, maybe not exact. It's prices. You've seen me do this before. Okay, I don't have fibs. I don't have pivots on here at all. I'm watching for this to clean up, and then we get this move up. 235, it goes three points quick. I'm getting in on this because, okay, zeroing in on this, these entry, these curl areas also. All right, and what do we have? We have the same thing that's going on on a smaller scale. Back to the upside. Okay, so I am taking some right in this area. Get in, get out, and make a few. Quick rehash, had to check. Okay, this is what we did there. Crowd was the one I wanted. Crowd. Earnings beat, multiple upgrades, it's up 650. Don't look to go long. Pop it open at 132. It's popping as AJ's writing the notes. Look for three to five, which is 135. Top it, take it down, bottom curl, slow bounce to the upside. Now Jay Powell's talking also. Alright. So he shook the markets yesterday. The algorithms are programmed to move on any keyword that the man talks about. All right, so the market is going to be, you know, is on eggshells whenever he's talking. Okay, but AJ's looking for 135 on this. And sometimes, you know, this stuff, it just sticks out at you. Out at you, 135. Nice 135 even number right there. Okay, price hits it. And that's it. All right, this was his initial sell or short entry, and I erased my entries on when I was writing this, making this chart. But um, I had to look for my, my entries. I, I thought I posted that chart. I could have sworn I did. Okay, but we hit that 135 area, and there's, a, you know, there's an obvious support area right in here. Okay, it's, it, you know, it's, it's, it's plain as day. All right, now... The way I'm looking at these gap ups, you know, if I'm, if I'm, if I see the stock, it's up here and I wake up the next day and it's right here, I'm like, do I want to buy it when it's already up? Okay. I want to, I've got a bias when I see a move like this. I want to take it down. Now these will pop. Okay. It was settling in here and it popped four points from this area. Okay. If it, hung up at this 134 and it opened at 134 could it have popped to 138 you don't know okay but it made this have this move down here it was bouncing off the support area here comes your volume at the open slams this 135 and that was it all right so what i am watching even though the trend if you know if you trade the momentum script we're still up okay but we're gapping up big time on this okay and so this is where you have to apply what AJ goes over all right and trade the notes along with the stock 
All right, because we're playing the open. We're playing the move here. All right. Stock gets at 135, has trouble, has trouble. It starts to get weak. And I start taking some short right in this area or this area. Okay. It falls into the support area, has a little delay, and I add to my short here. All right. It's falling hard because the spy is doing it also. And there is, you know, the bars are red because they are closing lower than the previous bar. Okay, to me, that's weakness. All right. And the gas pedal is getting pushed to the sell side. I'm looking at 1700 bucks in about 15 minutes or so. And I am all out down here. I buy everything back. I don't care what it does from here. Because right, AJ is looking for, if it snaps 130, two to four point sell off, which is right in that area. So from there, you know, right in here, I just lose, lost my drawings. Uh, right in here, and that was it. Bounce back up. All right. A nice long entry. When you hit that target area, you come up and you test it again and then make the curl up. This would have been a nice long entry to get back into the upside. Okay. You know, old school. One, two, three, break it, upside. That's, that's, you know, archaic teaching right there. One, two, three, or an ABC on the way up, all right? That's all I did today because I wanted, I wanted the, you know, this trend to clean itself up, and I made a, a comment to my buddy Dylan. He said he got chopped up a little bit, and I'm like, you know, this is, you know, I'm doing, I'm going to do a video pre-market trading. That's coming out. I got some notes to put together because I want that to be right because there's a lot that goes along with it, all right? But a stock that's already up, what's the market doing? It's kind of iffy. All right, you see, you heard, remember what Powell said yesterday about we're not done. Okay, it, it's going to be bumpy, another bumpier road ahead. Give me some selling to get in. Let things start showing themselves and get in. Okay, the Momo script, I'm going to try to do an update with that to let users put in a little more aggressive entries where we might follow some of these other entries come it's not going to be the one minute signal we're still going to be looking at the three minute chart and that sort of thing but we might and we try to get some a little more aggressive entries in there all right because it's the way it's set up right now it's a conservative entry all right and it took a would take it up when you have a stock that's gapping up like this it's going to take a while for that three minute trend to turn around and say hey i'm down now and we might not get a signal because of this gap all right, because the signals and the script is written to, you know, we're still up. I want this to curl and run back up this way, but we had it all tank. All right, I think we had a signal right in here, but the move was already going on. All right, so crowd, it's already up. I got a bias. Now, these can run, okay? You remember what Dix did the other day, and AJ mentioned that also. It made the pop. Market lost 500 points, but Dix held, okay? You know, this is the locomotive that you don't want to fight. All right. You got to trade on the correct side of what the trend is telling you. And this is, you know, this was tough. This was choppy stuff right here. All right. So I'm not going to, you know, yeah, it's up. It's gapping up like crowd was. But where's the move coming down? All right. So I have kind of, and this is my own fault. I'm still trying to get over a lot of it because these things can still run even though they're up. I'm waiting for this to break and then take a short, okay? Because I, I think I already made money in a biotech pre-market shorting. If I'm making my most of my bank is done early, I'm going to go conservative for the rest of the time I have or just look for, a, you know, I'm going to let my bias kick in if I've already made money, all right? The crowd, what it wanted to do, it's kind of like the same play as Dick's, made a run up, but it gave it up. Okay, it broke the support area and came down. You know, this is the this is the the freight train going up, starting to get a little weak. Maybe picking up another car or two can't pull it, and there it goes. All right, nothing there to hold it up. Don't fight it. All right, there you know, there's barely you know any short covers coming in. There's a short cover here. All right, to cover it comes back down, and then. I'm not sure what the spy was doing. Slow buying coming back in. All right. So it's a matter of, you know, you're, you're putting a method together. 
with the notes, you're trading AJ's notes, you're learning his style, and you have to put all this kind of stuff together. And it's not easy. It takes time. All right. And like, again, AJ, you know, this is in his blood. He was sick as a dog this morning. He needed to go to bed. All right. And he, I think he left early today because he was feeling too crappy. And the man deserves it. He does a lot of work. But it was his birthday, and he's still doing this stuff. All right. He's a maniac. It's AJ. This is awesome calls. Earnings season starting to waver a little bit right now. So uh, we're going to be trading, you know, just any other day. What's the news? Stuff's always going to be moving. Sometimes we have to wait for things to clean up to get that move in there. All right. But, you know, trading stocks, a lot of it has to be boring because we have to wait for things to set up. Okay. It started setting up when the selling started coming in. There's our pull. All right. So. Uh, Pre-market trading video soon. Going to get that together. Going to make some notes with some how-tos on that. But again, you know, this FRTX, uh, if there are no shorts available. And I rarely, I rarely buy these things. I would rather sell them, but there were no shorts. Okay, because this is the move I wanted to the downside. So if, if uh, IB and um, Cobra, they don't have shorts available, these things can get hung up even on fluffy PR news and they can still get bought up. So when this volume came in, like, hey, okay, I'm going to take some. Because this is, you know, 165,000, 100,000, 200,000 coming in pre-market. There are no shorts available. It's only long. There are only longs up here. And there's a point when, you know, you're up 125, 130%. I'm like, hey, that's it. All right. It starts getting weak. Where's the buying? It's done. Beautiful. If you had center point. All right. If you were on it. Anyway, hey, it's just, you know, it's logic, common sense, no gunslinging. Trade what's in front of you. Be patient. Wait for the setups. All right. Tomorrow's Thursday. Let's see what we got on the list and awesome calls tomorrow. Trade smart.